So, hi guys, uh, welcome back to another episode of The Void Guys. Um, last time we took a look at the concept of regular expressions and advancing our dial plans a little bit to, uh, mm -hmm. um, you know, having uh, cleaner dial plans for mm -hmm. external uh, calls. Mm -hmm. uh, what we're going to do today is take that a little bit further and uh, go into the concept of variables within mm -hmm. uh, the regular expression dial plans. So, mm -hmm. take it away. Yeah. We just directly move to the console, mm -hmm. and here is our dialed plan from the last time. We managed it to have incoming calls, simulated incoming, but we have incoming calls. We have an internal section, which is called phones, mm -hmm. and we have an outgoing section, where there is just one number. Yeah. But what we did, we managed already to introduce a regular expression, which yeah. means I have to dial zero mm -hmm. if I want to dial something in the outside world yep. and then followed by the number yep. of the outside world. So the next question is I want to put the number I've dialed into a variable mm -hmm. and send it send it to the outgoing context. Okay. Yeah. So in any case here I'm just sending always I want to dial 888. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. not a good idea, so there must be the concept of variables okay. somewhere. Yeah. Um, I think the best thing to learn is to use our uh, no op um, application as we did before, mm -hmm. where you can just display something onto the asterisk CLI. Okay. Yeah. If I call you, James, then the asterisk CLI just writes down call uh, for James. Yeah. So I can put in there some variables just to understand mm -hmm. what is stored in a variable. Okay. So I just um, change the dial plan a little bit. Same. Um, then here I think I move the go to. Just copy it. And in the first line, I change it to no operation. So just like the other examples, mm -hmm. but now in our outgoing case. So now I can put in there some variables okay. and you can understand what's stored in that variable. Right. One of the most important variable in asterisk is uh, x10. If you want to use a variable, then it's similar um, to many other Linux programming or scripting languages. Mm -hmm. You just start with a dollar sign, mm -hmm. curly brackets, I think curly bracket is the right. No? Uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure what the technical name is, but curly brackets, I think everybody knows. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, you put in the word x10 and the variable name is x10. Okay. And in the x10 variable is stored what you really dialed. Mm -hmm. So there is not stored 0x dot, yep. but it's stored the number you really dialed. We we'll give it a try. Here I'm directly attached to the asterisk console. I reload the dial plan is every time. And then I dial some number starting with zero in, at any length. Yep. So that's uh -huh. enough. Yeah. So here, this is our no op line. And here you can see that in X10, there is stored the number I dialed. Uh -huh. And if I change it, the content of the variable just changes. Yep. So I think now everybody can understand that something's in that variable. Not only something, but the extension you dialed. Yep. There are many, many variables in asterisk, but extension is just one of the most important. Okay. And mm -hmm. Um, there is a concept where you can um, split um, numbers of that number. 
um, uh, it was a, a badly explained. <laughs> um, you have to manipulate variables many often, okay. uh, uh, very often. Um, imagine uh, the following: we have zero two 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 two, yeah. but we want to give the, the provider just the number you really want to dial without the zero in front, okay. because the zero just indicates that is an outgoing call. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we want to split the zero away of the number. Okay. So there is a concept um, where you can just jump into a string or mm -hmm. a number or something. You just jump into it mm -hmm. and split something off. Okay. So you have two things you can say. You can say, where is the offset? Mm -hmm. Do I want to start at the beginning or at the end of a number? Mm -hmm. And how many digits I want to move into the number? Okay. from the beginning or from the end of the number. Gotcha. And then I can say how many digits do I want to use? Right. Okay. Three, two, four, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So this is a basic concept you, you use very often in asterisk. Okay. And now I want to show it on the console. Right, fair enough. How it works. So this is the, the variable we introduced. And here you can see it uh, there is stored 02222 in it because that's what I dialed. Mm -hmm. So I can add uh, the offset mm -hmm. behind the variable name mm -hmm. and maybe I can say jump one digit or one step because mm -hmm. it could also be a string, not a number, yeah. mm -hmm. one step into um, the variable. We see what happens. We reload the dial plane and I dial again 02222. Uh -huh. And you can see in the variable it's just 2222 because I say jump one digit into the number and um, then it just, I can show it here, it just jumps yeah. to that position mm -hmm. and takes the rest of the number. Why? Because I did not specify a length. Right. And if I do not specify a length, it just takes the rest of okay. the number. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I even could do something like, again, manipulate it and say, I want one, two, three, four digits. Let's just show you the difference then. I want four digits. So now we get the same result. Mm -hmm. Because I say jump in there for one digit. And, and, and I only report four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now the behavior changes if I add another digit. Three, for example, and dial it. It's still 2222 two, two, two because it only takes four digits okay. out of that number. Mm -hmm. And this is the difference if I do not define anything. Just throw it away again. Store it. Reload. And now I dial the same. I can see the rest of the number, but I split it away the zero. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So these are our two options, a offset, the first number you put there is offset, mm -hmm. the second is a length. Right, okay. It's a very basic concept and it's really um, important to understand it because if you are using Google to search for some dial plan examples for asterisk, mm -hmm. then you just see things like this and they are rarely explained or right. in, in many cases they are not explained. They just think you know what this is. Okay. So um, it's really important to understand that. Mm -hmm. A last trick is you can just do it like this. You can say with a minus sign in front, you can say, I don't want to jump into that number from the beginning, mm -hmm. but from the end. Uh -huh. And that's very important if you say, I want to read the last three digits for example, because this is the extension yep. mm -hmm. or something like this. We just give it a try. Do it like this. Just do a reload. And again, we dial that number. 
Now there is just stored 223. Mm -hmm. Because we jump into that number three digits, we do not define a length, so it takes the rest of the number, which are those three digits. Uh -huh. And this is the most important thing you must know if you are using asterisk and variables, because we have so often the case that we just want to strip away the first okay. a zero, or mm -hmm. we want to, I don't know, something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, um, we're not finished yet. <laughs> we just learned how to use the variable, mm -hmm. but we did not use it for our problem. We just showed what we can do with the variable. Mm -hmm. So, in our case, we want to move that variable or we want to transport to the other context what we really dialed. So, we go to the outgoing context and there we are searching for the number we have really dialed. So, uh, a good idea is just to throw away the zero, because we don't need it. Mm -hmm. And then here we use another regular expressions. And then we just dial the outside. Okay. If we really use a provider, we would probably put there another slash, and then the number we really want to dial, but it's just stored in X10, so we say slash X10. But we do all that if we have a real provider. Okay. For now, we can dial any number starting with a zero. A zero means it's going to the outside. We're jumping here. Mm -hmm. Any number is then dialed to our outside provider. Okay. So now, it should just work. I can dial any number. Starting with zero, and the outside is ringing. <laughs> okay, nicely done. So, I think that's it for this tutorial. And you should know now enough about asterisk variables. Yeah, okay. There you have it. <laughs> um, I hope you followed that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> for um, sure. Uh, yeah. If Next. not, uh, write it to the comments. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and again, with the comments, if you've got any uh, topics or anything that you'd like us to cover, just let us know and uh, we'll get around to doing it at some point in the near future. Till next Thank time. You. Cheers. Bye. Bye.